Right. Oh, hey folks. How we doing? So we're uh, for a wee bit of an adventure today. Just a wee adventure, yes. haven't we? That's the introduction to an adventure. Introduction to an adventure. So we're in a bothy. And this is my first ever experience of a bothy. You've, uh, you were a member of the association. MBA, and all that sort of the Mount Bothy's Association. Long time yes. ago right now, yeah. but uh, you've been in a few bothies. Yeah, so we're uh, in, a, in a probably, it's, it's probably, once you figure out where we are, it's probably quite a well-known bothy, isn't it? But we're really lucky so far. I mean, the time is now, it's about eight, eight o'clock-ish. Yeah, yeah. ah, and it's dark outside and we've got the place to ourselves, which is really nice. And we, we brought in some fuel, got the fire going. And um, we've had a bit of a drive, haven't we? It was about five hours. To over five hours, yeah, with a wee, a wee detour to yeah. B and Q. <laughs> Watch next week's video to figure out why we had to go to uh, B and Q. <laughs> but uh, you had to stop at Inverness, and then we um, we eventually got here and we we parked the cars up. And uh, yeah, it must have been about an hour, an hour and a half to walk in. An easy hour and a half. Uh, an easy, easy hour and a half. It was a nice walk in. It was chucking it down with rain when we left. But um, it's dried up, hasn't it? It's been quite nice. Lovely. Quite a nice sunset. Um, no beasties so far. No beasties so far. Um, bit cold now, actually. Yeah, quite well, cold. they said on the radio on the way up that tonight was going to be the first night of frost. So we'll see. In fact, I don't know if you can see my breath. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, where we are... Will be revealed. I put we. I took the drone up earlier on, so I'll put some drone footage up now, and that should that should give it away. But if you don't get it from the drone footage I'm showing now, I'll reveal all in the morning when we get up. But we're going to um, we're going to sit here and uh, watch the fire, the, the last dying embers of the fire. Something there's something nice, quite comforting, yeah. having the fire on. Isn't Ma mesmerizing, mesmerizing. Yeah. So, yeah. aye, we'll uh, we'll watch the rest of the, the ember die away, and we'll be hitting the hay, and we'll be up at first light to have some coffee. And then uh, crack on up this iconic mountain. Yeah, yeah. If you don't recognise it from the first shot, then shame on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, it's a rather splendid location. But anyway, we'll shut up now and we'll see you in the morning. We enjoyed the fire whilst it lasted, but before long it died away. And as soon as the flames had gone, it soon got cold in the bothy. So. We wrapped up in our sleeping bags and got our heads down to get a good night's sleep because we had a big day ahead of us the following day. We had a leisurely start the following morning and things were looking nice outside, we could see the, the summit. So we eventually pulled ourselves out of the sleeping bags and got some coffee on to kickstart the day. We were both quite excited about heading up this iconic mountain. There's my coffee. Ooh. Let me just turn this off so I'm not blinding it. Yeah, so we're up. It's about probably about 7.38. And uh, oh, can't see me. It's a bit better now. And uh, yeah, we're just getting the stuff ready. We're gonna have some breakfast and get packed up, tidy the uh, tidy the bothy up, give it a wee sweep out, clear out the fire from last night. And we're going to leave some of our stuff here as we head up the hill, just so we're not carrying everything up. We'll, we'll put it through. And so it's not in anybody's way, should anybody come in. I don't think anybody will. It's, uh, it's actually a Monday today, which is probably, Tuesday. probably it's Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Jerry's keeping me right, it's Tuesday today. So uh, the be quiet. So there he is. <laughs> Lost the plot, there he is. There's Jerry behind me, in, in, in the shadows. <laughs> I was going to wait, I was waiting for my coffee to cool. I'll take you outside and just show you the view. In fact, I'll give you a wee tour of a turn around here. This is the other room of the Bothy. There we go there. Oh, it's not focusing. There we go. So, 
There we go. Focus in a bit better now. That's uh, that's the big room. And this is where Jerry is, this is where we slept last night. We've got our, uh, that's one of our torches up there, they don't have electricity. <laughs> we fire in here, kitchen, over the under, sorry, the focus is coming and going, window, and then uh, our bed, bed space here. So. Yeah, not bad, so, let's go. Right, had the camera set on uh, <laughs> manual mode that I had it on last night. So it was very washed out when I came here. So here's a bothy behind me, lovely. But the real star of the show and where we're going later on is up here. It's a mountain called Sullivan. Ah, I think it'll take us a wee while to get up there, maybe an hour or two. A wee bit of cloud lapping on the top of it at the moment. Let's just hope there's clear views when we get to the top. Lovely. But things are looking good. It's blue skies up there. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, let's do a bit of cleaning. Then we'll get going. So we spent a bit of time cleaning up the bothy, sweeping out the fire and just making sure it was spotless for the next people to come. And we also left some of our gear in the bothy knowing that we'd be returning the same way and this made our backpacks much more comfortable than they had been the day before when they were laden with all the gear. Anyway. We were soon striding along and Sullivan was looking absolutely gorgeous with the mists just hanging around its cliffs and over the top. It was looking like it was going to be a fine, fine climb. Look at this, Jerry. Not bad. Don't know if you can make this out in the camera. Stunning. Yeah, Sullivan's over there. And the reflections this morning and the cloud on the hill. It's a special Lovely. morning, isn't it? We've come about 100 metres. It's taken us about an hour. We've stopped taking photographs <laughs> every five paces. <laughs> took me about 10 minutes to try and set this up. I've only got my wee, wee tripod, so uh, but this is just stunning. So we, um, yeah, we, we spent a bit of time tidying up the bothy, didn't we? Yep, we left. yep, get the hoover out, yeah, hoover wash the windows, clean the gutters. A pledge, yeah, uh -huh, dirty. Uh -huh. So we did all that and we've left the uh, left our heavier stuff there, so we'll, we're going back the same way, so we'll collect all the stuff when we go yeah, back. But yeah. yeah, we've still got a bit of a climb, in fact, it's in the cloud now. It might be quite atmospheric up there. It might have cleared by the time we got there, who knows? And it might be night time by the time we got maybe there. Maybe at this rate, I think it might be. If we get <laughs> any more photo stops, I mean, it's just absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. Yeah, um, however, we're out for a gentle day, so let's go let's for go, it. Oh yeah. yeah, we'll report back later on. Let's move. <laughs> and move we did. There was still a fair few kilometres for us to travel in before reaching the base of Sullivan, but the path was good, a really well maintained path, and before long the mountain was looming in front of us. So we are now looking at, I'll cut to some footage, but right behind the camera is the uh, steep climb, isn't it, Jerry? Ah, it looks more than the steep. <laughs> yeah, vertical grass. <laughs> but I think there's a good path going up it, there's been a lot of work done on it, isn't really it? well engineered path, zigzagging its way up to the Biala, so uh, I'll be hedged down for a wee bit. And yeah, yeah wee but it's bit, still quite nice, but after we'd left the, the Bothy, the, the cloud shrouded the hill and it disappeared and we thought we were going to be climbing into the Clag, but it's cleared again now, thankfully. So hopefully, fingers crossed, by the time we get up here... It's coming we'll and going, playing with us. It is, isn't it? So Teasing us. <laughs> let's hope we get a view from the top, because the views from the top of here... I must say as well, um, just before we, we talk about the views, this isn't the hill either of us have actually done it. Done uh, in all yeah. our years. Yeah, exactly. It's been on the list for a long time, Hasn't so it? a first for both of us, that's quite unusual. Yeah, and we, did, we have tried it a few times before, and we've been pushed back by the weather, haven't we? Yeah, we were going to kayak in Loch Vayati, but uh, we had an outbreak of common sense when 
<laughs> it was Force 10 at yeah. Westerlies. It was a storm came in, didn't it? It was at Conoval and Ben yeah. Asset more than a storm. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> more about that later on. Let's see if we can break the back of this and get up this steep, yeah. steep pool to the BLR. Okay, right, head let's on. Go. At this point, at the base of the climb, the, the mountain does look really, really imposing and very, very steep. And it almost looks like it's a vertical pull up to the Bialach to get to the top of the mountain. But once you're on the path, it zigzags its way up. And although steep, it's not as bad as it looks when you're looking at it head on. Oh, and those views are rather splendid back out to the north. Not a bad place to loiter and enjoy them. Right, just stop for a breather really. <laughs> Getting towards the top now, I don't know if we can see Jerry's making his way up there and that's the summit, just uh, that's the Bielalach there. Uh, so it's really quite steep. Well, you're in here, you'll see uh, where we've come from, so it's quite steep. But look at those views out there. It's absolutely stunning. It's fantastic. So I'm going to get up to the Bielalach and there's a big stone wall up here and I'm keen to sort of stop there because there's a picture, I've got a picture of my dad actually in my office and uh, it's a picture of a young man up at this wall and um, I'm going to try and mimic the photograph and see if I can yeah just just to see if I can stand in the same place as he stood all those years ago <laughs> yeah, a bit sentimental really but yeah lovely right enough of this sentimental talk look around at this view here is what I'm looking at not bad eh not bad at all and the both of us away down over here somewhere. Right. Enough procrastinating. <laughs> Let's get moving. Ooh. The slope continued steeply up, but before long we were soon reaching the Bialach and the views, oh those views, the views that we hadn't seen to the south yeah. opened up over the rest of Assen and it was spectacular, well worth the climb. Wow, it's fairly impressive isn't it? Are you coming? Wow, fantastic. So that's us at the Bialach, which you can probably see and um, the views are Rather good damage. Yeah, it's a bit special, yeah. A bit special. Clouds coming and going a wee bit, but hopefully that'll uh, blow over. Yeah. Stack poly just looks like something from the lost world, doesn't it? And the walk is just loads of walks down here in front of us, and just 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 an ascent, beautiful ascent landscape. Bit autumnal today that you could hear the stags, couldn't you? Stags were bellowing in the quarry. Yeah. It's actually cold. Uh, it's quite cool. And uh, you just get the feeling that okay, the weather's good just now, but it could it, it could, could change. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's definitely a northerly breeze now. In fact, it looks like there's some showers coming in from the north. Aye. But yeah, um, yeah the, the stags were quite loud. Not quite as loud as that mouse last night. There was a, there was a mouse. There was a moose loose about the house. There, there, was, there was a mouse bellowing. There was something else bellowing. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's talk about that. It was the mouse that was making. I'm sure it was the mouse was, was snoring a, as well. I think the mouse was sawing logs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Right, we're going to go up to the summit now. Yeah. It's maybe another. I think the hard work's done coming up to the Bialach. It's not too far now, and I can see the stone dike I was talking about. Where I've got a picture of my dad. So we'll go up there and we'll do another bit of camera once Excellent. we get to that wall. Let's Excellent. Go. Let's go. So we headed up towards the stone dike, but. The cloud was starting to come in a wee bit and I just thought, that photograph that I was talking about, I just thought I'll wait, it's bound to clear and be better on the way down and I'll get the photograph there. So we headed on up, through and past the wall towards the summit of Sullivan. Castiolia is the summit, the true summit at 731 metres. But as we got higher and higher, the cloud got thicker and thicker and those showers that we'd seen coming in from the north hit us and the views just disappeared. What a shame. But we were still hopeful and we continued along in atmospheric conditions towards the summit of Sullivan.
Right, so here we are on the summit of Sullivan, Castillo Lea. I think this, this top's called, this is the higher one. 730 meters, and the views uh, are to die for usually. Yeah, but Scotch mist today. Come in. Yeah, we're inside of a cloud again. Yeah, you know what? But we we're just talking off camera there. But you know, I, I booked this week off work, and last this time last week, if it was forecast hurricane strength winds, and I looked like a, I looked like a call off. Uh, yeah. But if you looked at the charts in the last few days, the only place in the UK really that wasn't getting hammered is this far northwest corner. That's right. Um, so I think although we're a wee bit robbed of the summit views, we can't really complain. We've done all right, haven't yeah, we? Yeah. 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 So yeah, unfortunately, it, well, the good news and bad news about that. I mean, the bad news is we don't get any views today, but the good news is it means we have to come back absolutely on a good day and yep. maybe. The other thing we were planning on doing was doing the traverse of the ridge, but it's pretty blowy, um, you know, where it's exposed down at the Delac. So blowy, we'll give that cold, a clammy, wet rock. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not worth it to do. Come back when the t-shirts day. Yeah. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to head back down to the wall and get a bit of shelter behind there and have some lunch, I think. Does that sound like a plan? Yep. Let's go. Second breakfast. Good Second good. Scotch egg for me. <laughs> 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 Lovely. <laughs> It didn't take long for the weather to go downhill, it's uh, chucking it down now. I think stop, get our waterproofs on in a minute. Dry off. That's We're going to get soaked, yeah, into it. Up. Ah. From a few moments earlier, just worrying about not getting a view, we were now worrying about staying dry, so we did stop because the rain was getting quite heavy at this point. And we got our over trousers on and our waterproof jackets on to protect us. We were kind of resigned now that the, uh, the, the views were not going to appear, so yeah, we got ourselves dried up from the elements and decided to head further down the hill to get out of the cloud and see what would happen. And even down at the Bielach where about 45 minutes before there had been fine views, the clag was now in and it looked like it was set for the day. And a boy, I tell you, it was cold as well. There was a big temperature change. I don't know if this was a cold front, but from it being quite pleasant in the sun earlier, it now felt like, well, felt like midwinter. Hey, what? It's a bit windy now, a bit more wintry, isn't it? It's amazing. <laughs> ah, it's a northerly breeze. From summer to winter, it's a space of uh, a few hours. Right, we've got to go down here now, way down yonder. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> Once we'd descended off the slopes of Sullivan, the air temperature seemed to get a bit warmer, as you'd expect. And the weather did show some signs of improvement, so we stopped to take those waterproofs off and, yeah, just make ourselves a bit cooler for the walk back to the Bothy. It's lovely. It is fantastic. Right guys, we're back <laughs> at the Bothy! And we've packed up all our stuff. I had a quick coffee, quick bite to eat, and it's about an hour, hour and a half out maybe. Yeah, about that. And uh, I think the last time we bit, did a bit of the camera, it was the middle of the winter, coming, <laughs> coming down off so and then, um, Now, you'll, uh, what I'll do once I finish yeah. this with the camera, I shall spin around and you can see what we're looking at. But yeah. it's a, Cloud-free mountain, isn't it, Jerry? I think the only time the summit was shrouded in cloud was when we were there. I think you're uh, right. In fairness, and for a wee bit after we left it, uh, and then it's cleared just to goad us. But hey ho, 
As I said, it's an excuse it's, to come back another day. Exactly. It? It's, all, it's all about the journey. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we've um, we tidied up before we left, but we went in and made sure we hadn't left anything lying about. There's another couple of sleeping bags in there, so there's people coming in tonight. I think it's it was actually quite busy on the hill after when they were way down, wasn't it? We I was surprised. I mean, when we went up, it was dead quiet, and we thought, well, you know, it's a, it's a Tuesday and it's October, and you, know, you expect it to be quiet, but then we were coming down, it was a it's procession. Even. It's even. Yeah, so Popular shows mountain. how much we know. <laughs> anyway, right. Um, yeah, might see you back. We're going to head back down, and I'll um, see you back at the van <laughs> after this long walk with these heavy packs on. But and then we'll decide what we're doing tomorrow. Yeah, and then we'll decide what we're doing tomorrow. Let me just spin you round. I'll show you how she's looking. Look at that. She's clear. Nah. Now you win some, you lose some. <laughs> I we won we'll some. Back. We won that. <laughs> Right, let's get packed up. So we got packed up and those heavy backpacks back in our bags and we started the long walk back to the car. After a few hours we were soon back at the cars and we had one last thing we wanted to do before heading out of the area and deciding what we were going to do the next day and that was to visit a wee shop in the nearby village of Lochinver. It's a very bit, quick bit to camera, we're in Lochinver now. Spin you around, there's Jerry over in his Defender and there's the view, look at it there. But we couldn't, couldn't come to Lochinver or drive through anyway without stopping at the pie shop and I have got, let me just show you down here for the tea is a haggis, neeps and tatty's pie so I'm going to have that and then we're going to decide what we are doing tomorrow right, time for my haggis, neeps and tatty pie after enjoying that lovely pie myself and Jerry had a corn flab and we made our minds up what we were going to do the following day. The weather was set fine and we were on our journeys again to find a wee spot to camp up for the night before setting off the following day. But what an adventure today had been. Thanks for watching guys, stay safe out there and I'll see you on next week's adventure. <laughs>